Okay, I think we're all situated. Hey, Janine. I believe we're live. I think so. I think I'm on the right one. <laughs> oh, is this thing on? Hey, Kyle T. If this thing's on, let us know. Hey, Dom. Good to see you. Hello, Mr. Tran. Hey, Jack. Hey Dave. Hey Amber. Oh, Amber wanted to let me let me tell me to let you know something about your box of vibrators and whatnot. <laughs> uh five five eight zero five eight five four 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 three seven. <laughs> O one one three six. You need the expiration date and the social and the security code number two. Hey, lost. I think you'll like. To. So we got some toys. We got some all kinds of stuff. Might have bought too much this weekend. I may need another intervention. Not that they ever work, but. Nancy got her cookie jar. That's awesome, Nancy. I don't know what cookie jar you bought, but hey, congratulations. <laughs> well, Jack, you know, um, security code two. <laughs> it's it's four four three. You might need the expert. That's oh four twenty four. Hello, Jim F. Sally. Okay, guys. So we got some miscellaneous items for you guys today. Um, of action figures and toys. I just went and found two boxes that paid. Hurry up and empty those boxes onto trays. And that's what I did. I did what I'm told. So some are lots. Um, as you guys saw this weekend, I bought about 15,000 or 16,000 trade cards, exhibit cards. Is she calling me? Huh. On the phone. I'm going to say. <laughs> so here we go, guys. How many people we got? We got, we got at least 30. 38. 38 is good enough. You guys get, you are the Sutter's Notes. Spelling book, writing. Uh, these are from that estate sale I went to with Pam the other week. This is 1915. I bought two boxes of a lot of like uh, music related literature and sheet music. I like the herb just because I think some of it's really beautiful, um, especially the really early stuff. So MCMXIX 1909, I think. Sterling Waltz. Uh, this one doesn't have a cover, so I'm not sure what that is. It's 87, though. It is National Graded Course in Seven Grades Illustrated uh, for the Piano Forte? This is the latest edition, but what year was this edition? Uh, copyright MCMVI. So what's that, 1906? Already? We just started. Tell them stop that. National graded course. Okay. So another one. And another one. I believe they're all going to be 1906. Yep, MCMVI. So I believe that is 1906. So obviously, really awesome sheet music, different songs. E2 to range the left hand, the little wanderer. Uh, she signed out. Sonatina. This is really early. Daily Essentials. Grand Polka de Concert. This one is New York. It's a G. Schreimer. A new edition by the composer. So let's see. This one is 1895 by Homer Bartlett. 25 pieces of first position of the violinist. Hey, Willie, Willie Burmeister. 
So again, these are all like 1880s through early 1900. Um, this one here is probably a little bit earlier. Usually when you see them in the fancy smancy writing. And this one's even got like an embossed seal down in the bottom corner. Let's roll that down. Keller's Music House. So let's see. Man, even the pages are embossed. It's really interesting. Um, I don't know what year this is. But it's early. I am, bro. So really early. This is probably 1870s or 1880s by the way it looks. Six airs varies in the violin. 18, 1892 on this one. Here is another group of sheet music, but I don't know what it's from. Here, Love and Duty. And it's a duty. Butterfly polka. Spring song. So these are 1800s as well. Here is another collection. This one is doesn't give me a date. But again, late 1800s on those two. I don't even know how much stuff I put in each box, guys. I just literally made trays for you guys. Nearer My God to Thee, TP Rider. Uh, that one is MDCCC, so that's 18LXX1873, I think. And that one, oh, this one's awesome. So in sheet music, E.T. Paul is very well known. E.T. Paul, Chariot Race or Ben-Hur March from MDCCCXCIV. Ten Cent Creamers Edition. The awesome thing and beautiful star of heaven, Herbie. So that's what you get in this lot. So pretty awesome. Uh, late 1800s, 1880s through, I think, 1914 or 1915 was the newest one we saw. 30 with Nancy. So nice lot of sheet music and the like. What did I do with it? There it is. I forgot I had set four pieces on the floor. I had accidentally set four pieces on the floor when I made that lot. The Whenever I was doing the tray lots of sheet music that I thought were really cute. 35 of Kyle, 40 with Nancy. See, people know sheet music, and I just don't. 45 of Kyle. I just know the old stuff is better. And for anybody who's here who has not registered with us before, if you're here lurking and would like to participate in Mr. Buys Lot Auctions, which we have on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and then on weekends we're going to do specialty auctions, us an email to mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com, and you will send us your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email us so that we can invoice you and your mailing so that we can send your items to you. We do ship out one time a Friday for the item or before Friday. After that, we ship Monday. We invoice you Thursday. Night, usually, sometimes, if I'm really beat, I don't get the invoices out until Friday morning. So, other than that, everything else is pretty cut and dry and easy. If anybody has any questions, please just email them to me at mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. And no, Kyle Elliott, we do not want questions about where we want our steak sandwich picture sent. Also, I try to get everybody's stuff out on Friday, but I don't always do it. So. I'm not sure why it's pixelating. Is it pixelated on everybody else's screen? No. Okay. Okay, so we're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Kyle Elliott. I have a, I just have a couple trays of these guys, and then we'll we'll skip around and get some wrestling figures and some toys and some other stuff. I just have a big pile over there, and I don't want them to fall over. So Edmund Severn, Severn Ensemble works for the violin with piano accompaniment. Carl Fisher. 
So these are a whole bunch of things. Uh, I'm looking for a date. Not to the prom either. Whatever MCM XXV is. Is that 1925? MCM XXV. I'm guessing that's 1925. So this one's got a whole bunch of little like fold out ones. The blacksmiths. One of the blacksmiths. So this is like a little portfolio. So there's that one. Here's another one. Favorite trios for three violins. Edmund Severn violins again. Another different violins one. Here's another one. The Maypole Dance. I, I don't know what that one's about, but I like it. It has pole dance in it. The donkey rides right above it. You know, never know what's going on with some of these things. MCM XXV. So again, 1925, I think. Well, geez, caddy's right up the street. Yeah, I was right. Ah, I'm so smart. Doesn't happen often when you're good looking and smart. Well, I guess it didn't happen this time either, but still. Nancy. Another special edition asked for McKinley. Hey, Thomas. I like how up here somebody wrote Bicycle Race Holst. So I don't know if that means that that's the name of the song in here. Bicycle Race. Yeah, I can't read that. So here's here's more. It's all good, Carl. We knew what you were saying. Some more of those. Piano Forte Studies, special edition. I guess these are probably roughly the same time period. 1897. These are dated 1897. There is a a, a boatload of these. Uh, you might want to drive, not run. You'll get there quicker. Maybe, maybe he's fast. Maybe he's really fast. Maybe. So there's it's really pretty. All 1897, it looks like. Here's the back of them. Uh, here is Touch Me There. Oh, no, wait. Touch and Technique. Artistic Piano Playing. Philadelphia Theodore Presser. Um, combination exercise forms. This one looks early, too. This one is 1891. It's dated right down there, 1891. That's a thicker one. Look at this. Schools, all right, Songs of the School Days. If you want to be a good girl, okay. MCMVII. So, whatever that is, 1907, I think. Little Beginners Piano Fonte album by Hannah Smith. Five note etchings. I got a boat on it. That's my boat. Tunes and Rhymes, Little Prices for Voices. That one's by Spalding. Like maybe the company that makes sports stuff, maybe. Little Neighbors, First Grade Pieces. I don't know. For sure. There's another. I just grabbed stacks and put it on the trays. Shimmers, Shimmers Library, Palady, Technical Something Another. Um, Look, this one even has diagrams of how you're supposed to keep your fingers. Yeah, you put, see how you hold your fingers? The claw. The claw. Okay. I don't know what year that is. All I can tell you is that there's still more coming. This box is never – for a beer tray, this thing held a lot. Streebog, not sure who that is. 
Presser Collection Gurlet, the easiest studies in velocity. The design is copyrighted. Okay, well, what's the date? It just says design copyrighted, but it don't tell me the date. And again, probably 1890s by the way it looks. But... And then you get the Victor Dance Folio by Meacham. Meacham. And that one is MCMV, so 1905, I think. Universal Dance Folio for piano. And this is the last one, 1927, special edition for 1927. So you get that one in there too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hang on, let me take off my 11. Sorry, 13, 14, 15, 16. I wonder if I was locked today. <laughs> I've been kind of rambunctious today, ain't I? You don't say. 18, 19, 20. Look, we were just trying to get these out of the warehouse. I didn't even look in the boxes when I bought them at the estate sale. I just opened them and said, oh, this is good early sheet music. Oh, how much for all of it? And they gave me a price. And I went and got totes because the box ripped in half when we tried to pick it up. So there's about 28 pieces, I think. 28 or 29. You guys want me to add something neat to this lot here? I'm going to add, add something a little newer, but kind of cute. How about some animal crackers in my soup with Shirley Temple? Animal crackers in my soup, one by one, loop-de-loop. Sixteen -loop. five with Thomas. <laughs> Nancy. Little curly top. I like the movie ones. Nancy? And if you guys did watch the video from what we bought this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I thought he was drinking Pee Wee Herman's. <laughs> so if you guys watched the video uh, we picked up about 20,000 plus items this weekend once you start counting all the smalls in the albums and I believe we're going to bring one of those albums over here today and auction off just whatever's in the album I have not looked through them I, I looked at about maybe 8 of them um, overall before I bought the collection the guy had sent me pictures from the estate he was at at For Belinda, you didn't get anything earlier, did you? I just typed in her name. Okay, that's good. Nope, I have nothing from Belinda yet. Not yet. Okay, we're at eighty with. Karen? Nothing from you yet, Belinda. Yeah, no worries, Belinda. We'll, as soon as it comes in, it'll pop up on us. And anybody else who happens to be watching in the background, if you want to participate, make sure that you email me your information. We'll yellow banner at the bottom of the screen. Mr. Bislot 795 at gmail.com. No periods, no capitalization, none of that stuff. And we do invoice once a week on Thursday night or Friday morning. So we're at 90 with Nancy. Let's see. Here 
right there, Brian? Yep. Usa. Karen Young's in at 95. It seems to just be between Karen and Nancy. So let's go ahead and call it to Karen since it was just the two of them. Because I see Thomas was out. Guys, you like the sheet music stuff? Okay, I think we're sold. Oh, no worries, Belinda. 95 to Karen Young. Okay, congratulations, Karen Young. Okay, hey, you know, because we're doing something music related, I want I want to do a lobby card lot. Here's a tray. Look, Labyrinth, David Bowie's Labyrinth, 1986. You've got the babe. I saw my baby. Great card lots was dressed to the dress to Kentucky Supreme Court. Very cool. Oh, nice. I didn't even look at this stuff. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so, so you got David Bowie. Dance, magic, dance. Dance, magic, dance. Another labyrinth. Another labyrinth. Labyrinth lobby cards. There's Blue O, the rock singer. Another labyrinth. That's probably the whole set of labyrinth. Look, another American classic, 1980 fame. I want to live forever. Another fame. Another fame. That's what, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So another, that's a full set of fame. Oh, look at this one. Kind of murdery, hoary suspense. 1976, The House by the Lake. One, two, three, four, five, six. Andrew Campbell. Seven, eight. So there seems to be a full set. So maybe I should put them in sets for you guys. So you know kind of what you're getting here. So there is a set of House by the All Eight. Here is a set of Fame. Here is a set of Labyrinth. I didn't know I had Labyrinth over there either until I saw it. So there's a set of Labyrinth. I said I didn't realize I had Labyrinth over there either. One of my favorite movies. I thought Debbie Does Dallas was your favorite. Shut up, Dick. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Eight, so a nice full set of stripes with Bill Murray. Those are 1981. And then it looks like we got some Star Trek action, 1991. I think so. I will count them again in front of you guys. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, so a full set of Star Trek. All eight lobby cards. Right there. Eight, seven. So here's number eight, number seven, number six, number five, number four, number three, number two. Am I missing one? I might be missing one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll look at the bottom of this. Make sure I don't got it mixed in with any other ones here. We might be missing one from the set of Labyrinth. There's only seven there. So there's eight here, fame. Four, five, six, seven, eight here, the Star Trek. Seven, eight of the Bill Murray stripes. So all three of those are complete. And let's see. This one here. One, two. So far, only seven, Carl. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, Tommy. eight. There's eight of the House by the Lake, and there's only seven of Labyrinth. So it is missing card number one from Labyrinth because I have them in not numerical order here. So. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight are here. But no number one. So no number one on the Labyrinth set. There's only seven cards for the Labyrinth. We'll play it out. I wonder if I teased my hair if I could look like this. 130 with Thomas? No. Come on. Let me see. Let's see. <laughs> I'll bring you some goo for your hair tomorrow. <laughs> Pam's going to goo my head tomorrow. I'll we'll put you on camera. <laughs> I thought about coloring my hair like doing it like I used to do, like you know, <laughs> some copper tones and some blue tips and. Oh Belinda, we still haven't got yours. Your email, so just make sure it's Mr. Bazalot seven nine five at gmail dot com. So you get four complete sets and one seven eighths of a set. You get seven out of the eight. What was his name? Uh, who, Huggle? Huggle, that's it. Tommy at 140. Oop, I just hit, hit it on my hand again, guys. Bull in a china shop. Nancy Sister had a hundred and twelve off Sweet. Nothing wrong with being a little crazy once in a while. For Brian. Color my hair every day. <laughs> we didn't say coloring your hair. We said crazy. Uh -oh. Thomas L is out. Tommy S is currently the high bidder at 140. And if I do find the number one card from this set, I will put it with yours as we're selling sets today or as we're selling lobby cards today. If I see the number one for Labyrinth, it will get included because we have some trays of lobby cards. A few. <laughs> Just a few. Okay, and we'll start picking this up. Congratulations, Tommy. Jeez. Do another lobby card lot. That's why I'll do two, 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 two. Okay, let's see how many we have. Okay, so you got High Road to China. Let's see if we got full sets or not. One, two, three, 
No number four yet, but there's five, six, seven, eight. So Tom Selleck, Magnum PI, LA Story, number one, two, three, Steve Martin, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's complete. Of L.A. Story. Endless Love. Who's in this one? Brooke Shields, Martin Hewitt. All right, so number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, six and then eight. It's missing number seven. So those two are missing one each. Movie. Oh, Xanadu. Olivia Newton John, Gene Kelly, Xanadu. So one, two, three, four, five cards from Xanadu. This is from 1981, American Pop. Some kind of an animated rock and roll. I've never seen this. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. So that one's a complete set. So those two up there are complete sets. I'll pull this over stuff now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is another seven out of eight for Charlie Varick, Walter Matthau. 25 with Horizon Pick. So this one is missing one. The Pelican Brief. One, two, three, four, five, six of that one. So you got what? Two complete sets, two that are seven, or three that are seven, one that's six and one that's five. And I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you this as a bonus. This is a newer make of an old movie one. As you can see there's no uh, there's no NSS number down here, and you can just tell this is a newer one because it's super glossy. It's on much thinner paper than the other ones. Thirty-five with that. So I'm gonna give you that one too in there because it was just there. Forty with that. So there's what you get. Belinda. Belinda, you're good to go. Welcome to the auctions. I'm going to go grab some wrestling figures. Were these over here for us to sell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we sold last week of these? or? or? We already shipped those. Okay. 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 Promise people toys. We're gonna give them toys. Chris Chatworth. <laughs> little chit. Little chit. Little chit. Chris Chatworth. Crispy Toys, Chris Yerden. Yep. Mountain Man. Yep, where's Troy? Mountain Man Treasures. Beetlejuice, some of your friends. All of a sudden, Troy gets, you know, $255 for a stuffed animal. It's too good to come to our auctions anymore. <laughs> Got a $255 bid on his 
stuffed anima. Oh, yeah? He's a man in a man. It's an enema. Okay. That <laughs> <laughs> he has a an in a man in a man from Fleet that he got from Cabinet Commonwealth Picker. And then uh, it was a golf club cover, so it was a large one. So he sewed the bottom of it and made it into a plushie. And it's currently at $255 in his 99 cent challenge auctions. Well, pretty smart thinking on his part. I'm about to start sewing my socks closed and calling them, <laughs> calling them neck warmers. You sell some of your old underwear, you'll be all right. Sweat already included. Oh, that's awesome, Everstuffed. Shackman is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Pam loves her Shackman. We have to get more. We're out. Wait, hang on. Let me pull out money if you're going to start taking clothes off. I'll take hundreds. <laughs> I don't have any hundreds. Can we, can we start at dollars and work our way up through the no. roll? Nope. No. I am. <laughs> You were a lot cheaper when you were young. Jesus. <laughs> oh, we have more. We know where it is. We just oh, haven't gotten it yet. You know, there may or may not be a box of it coming in today's auction. Yeah, we found one today. But we need more. We need more. Ron needs to make a trip to the other warehouse. Okay, so we're at $70 with Big Sky, I believe. That's a lot. Oh, we got lots more to come. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's stuff that, that Pam hasn't even seen in that load. I filled a 12-foot box truck of that stuff when I bought it years and years ago. We need a Saturday to make some boxes again. That worked out really well. <laughs> yeah. We'll just pick a Saturday in April and come in. Yeah, uh, look, I want to sell everything. Sell it all. Sold, sold, sold. The big stash went for Saturday. Okay, you guys. So this weekend, somebody brought me some wrestling figures. Wrestling figures. There was two big totes. I put them in lots of 12, I think. There might be 13. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I don't know what series... And some of the characters are hard for me to make out. I don't know who he is. This is the Kennedy show. Mr. Kennedy. What it says on his butt. So wrestlers. Kind of looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Probably if this is also Jack specific. This is an earlier one. This one's Titan Sports. So this one's earlier. Yep. Yep. That's Joe. Wait, we know Joe. Yep, Joe was up here the other day. Another wrestler. So we're going to start these lots out at at $10 a lot. It's going to cost me more than that to ship them. Um, if bidding does well, I may put two or three lots together just to make the lots a little bit bigger, more exciting. This is Ray Mysterio. You got, I can't remember if this is Bubba Ray Dudley or if this is the other Dudley. I have no clue who this guy is. The big old R on a shirt. Um, this looks like Kane without his mask. Just because of the pants and stuff. I'm thinking this looks like Kane. JJ, don't know who that is. A lot of the newer wrestlers, I'm not going to know. Uh, this is because of the underwear. This is Val Venus, the man with the big penis. That's Val Venus, I'm pretty sure. 25 a Stone Cold says so. He was my favorite wrestler. We got Kurt Angle. I think that's Kurt Angle. American by birth. And another one. Both variations of this figure. The one where his ribs are broken, so he's all taped up, and then the regular version. Oh, 
There you go, Bubba Ray. And the other one was uh, Devon. Devon Dudley was the other guy. That's Jarrett. That's this one here, Double J, Jeff Jarrett. Okay. I'm learning. We're learning. I met Christian, Batista, and Edge at a Hooters in Reading one night. We're at 30 Hickey And let's just say they went home with some dessert. I know the girl that they left with. Like what? I don't know if Christian would be too happy about me saying that because he was married at the time. 32 with Fab. Uh, Carl, no Pokemon. or are Tech Decks. Flippin' Mama has to register. Hip Flippin' Mama. Let me see if I have you registered. Okay. She hasn't registered my but hip flipping mama if you get a chance just send us an email with your information i know i've seen you in some of the other channels but we need to get you registered up for us Thirty-five with Kyle Oman. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> hey, Kyle. You guys want me to go bigger? Should I go bigger? Let's go bigger. I want to go bigger. I'm going bigger. Double trays, twenty-four pieces. There we go. Squatting, Christian, or Edge. This is Edge. Christian's hair is blonder. You got him. You get Maven. Some of these figures are actually pretty rare. Hardcore Holly. I have no clue who this is. Kind of looks like Kevin Nash, but his hair seems a little like off. Like, it seems like his hair's messed up. This is the Undertaker. I know who met him in an airport one time. This is Ric Flair from the uh, from the the classics collection. Rick Flair. We got RVD, Rob Van Dam. I think this is also a different RVD. Maybe not. I could be wrong on that one. Um, I have no clue who this guy is with the dragon pants, but I like his style. He's got a tiny little head for a big body. You see US champion. I mean, that is a tiny little head. Like that's the it's the Japanese guy. I can't remember his name. Here. Not sure. Away. This guy's body comes apart or whatever. I don't know if you got to do something to make it stay. But it kind of looks like Jesse James. Uh, looks like Triple H, kind of. So this is, might be Triple H. Huh? Looks like Booker T, but yeah, this is Booker T. This guy, yeah. Taja Nakaki or Nasaki or whatever his name is. Yep. He brought me my number three, my number 12, and my number eight. He's not a super popular wrestler, I guess. You'd think I'd know more of these guys now, but I haven't really watched wrestling in a few years. Omen, Tran, Elliot. Yeah. I don't know. Is there another one? Who's the other one? Do I have? Why don't I have the other one here? Yeah, no, I, don't, I only know three Kyles. Test. Oh, okay. Test is the name of the wrestler with the long hair. Kyle T's here. Kyle Omen's here, and Kyle Elliott's here. We got three out of four. That ain't bad. That's a C in school. You still pass. So yeah. you, you get 24 wrestlers and free shipping. Story of my life. <laughs> Kyle O at 65. Dave. <laughs> Poor U.S. champion. He was trying to tell us the name of the guy was test, and we thought he was test. Going past that. 
Oh no 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 he it was he was saying test he's he was right. Oh no, test edge and Christian all look very similar back in the day. And before them it was like Chris Benoit and a bunch of other guys. So there are twenty four wrestling figures. The Ric Flair is cool because he's like one of the classic collection. I think we can get all those in a twelve by twelve by six box. Yeah. yeah. Seventy five a pile up. So I don't mind doing two lots at once then. Pam will spit on it. Not on me. That's not nice. Why do you want to spit on me? Would I ever not do to you? <laughs> According to you guys, I buy too much junk even when I'm not buying anything. Nope, oh, sorry. A little bit out of frame. We're at 80 with Kyle. So we're at 80 with Kyle. Look, I'm bringing the toys. You guys. Oh, whenever... sorry. 80 with Andrew. Oh, 80 okay. with Andrew. Okay. Pam's fault. <laughs> Chris Chatworth telling him he missed all the toys today. Kyle, oh, we need 85 with you. Yep. 85 would be the next bid. We have 80 with Andrew Campbell. <laughs> hey, Vicky. <laughs> Where's Vicky? I didn't see her. 85 with Kyle O. Thanks, Kyle. There we go. Got Kyle in at 85. Yeah. Thomas in at 90. <laughs> okay. We have Thomas L in at 90. Andrew came in just a second after that. We're still does that under four dollars a piece shipped. Pretty good buy. And as always, we do thank everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, she's probably talking about Shackman stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. More Shackman, Brian. More Shackman. Look, we managed today. I know. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> you were looking in my window or something? <laughs> well, I got that camera. I don't need to look <laughs> in the window. That was part of your pay increase. Mm hmm. I love Shackman stuff. Janine, don't feel bad. That's probably not only for, uh, that's probably not the only thing she hasn't unpacked from us. <laughs> Her dining room is probably called the Bazalot room. Yeah, just listen to Pam Kyle say. <laughs> I love Kyle. He's awesome. <laughs> Andrew's out. Yeah, I think we just have Thomas L at, at 90. Brian did bring some cool stuff from the storage. I have to give him that. It's I cool. brought awesome stuff from storage. It's definitely cool. And it is all already, if you guys, this guy was going to open an antique co-op, so everything was like bag boarded, priced, stickered. Yeah, it looks great. The presentation of it's amazing. It's pretty awesome. It's going to make it harder for first to ship. But it's still awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Pam's already starting to confiscate items. She found, yeah. a, she found a puzzle today. She's like, oh, I want that. I'm taking that. And I was like, okay, well, it's marked $10. I'll let you have it for the $10. I don't think so. And she's like, she's like, ah. Oh, I didn't take it as back. Then. Look, I want to see how long Kim struggles to put a garbage bag in my dumpster. That's not very nice, Brian. You see her? She's like standing up there like 30 Kim's minutes. Kim's hair looks like my hair again. No, your hair is much shorter. She's doing hers on the asymmetrical. It's supposed to be dangly. Uh, you can see the picture. 
It looks better, honey. That was quick. She, it. she thinned it out. Yeah. You don't look like it's big much of a Q-tip. Sold, sold, sold to Thomas for 90. Sorry, we're a little behind. Sold, sold, sold? Yep. Sold, sold, sold. Hey, you guys you guys did awesome on the first lot. Let's do another big lot. 24 figures, two tray lots. I'll, uh, I'll put them all in one tray, and then I'll move them all to the other tray. How's that? Some of them are older. So you got NWO Hulk Hogan. Hey, backpack. Nope, it's Tuesday. Oh, yeah, brother. You've got Red Face. Hopefully that's not politically incorrect. Sting. Um, this kind of looks like Randy Orton. There should be 24 pieces. I don't know who this guy is. KK? Who's KK? Whoever KK is, he's there. You know Donna's daughter sends our dumpster the reason it was not so good and it's just fine and it's trash. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. I did not know that she showed her dumpster. This is the Crippler, so that's Chris Benoit, I guess. Crud, I bet you up on that video. You probably are on that video. Yes, I am. Commissioner Foley. If he was Keith, right? I want to say this guy looks like Hacksaw Jim Duggan, but his knee pads. But I don't know. He's probably from the Classic Collection, too, because he's a little bit heavier. I have no clue who this guy is. Green. Yeah, another – I think that's Steve Austin. And you got that, the Oriental guy again with a different pair of pants, it looks like. It's like a pockets. I'll pull the name. I'm probably on that video since so God made me open up the warehouse. This guy punches himself in the face. He's. He said you beat. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, uh, uh. He said Eugene. Eugene. Okay. Well, I marked myself out for my computer. Yeah. Okay. So this guy's got some kind of tattoo. You got another Booker T. Who is this guy? This looks like the, the Texan guy. Uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, you got another Ric Flair. This guy, his, his stomach says Mexican. That's what it says. Ali I don't know who this guy is either. He's got he's got a face between two hands on his pants. JBL, that's who the, the Texan guy is. Yep. Uh, here's this guy. I think he might be missing. No, he's got five fingers. There's okay. Never mind finger. He was not. This is Randy Orton, I'm sure. The Viper. Uh, this one is – those pants just remind me of, like, Christian or Edge, but maybe not. This one here. Oh, Diamond Dallas Page is one of those? Okay. See, so you guys know. You know what you're bidding on. This is another Randy Orton figure whenever he had hair. Another GH. I don't know who GH is either, but he's in there. This guy reminds me of Billy Gunn, Billy Badass Gunn. Just because of the hair. Yep, definitely wouldn't know who he was. This is Triple H. This is an older figure you can tell because it looks really bad. This guy looks like a monkey. <laughs> well, he does. Look at his face. Black Luger. Look at the face on this guy. And then this is the last one. Yes, he does. So we just got these in. 
We got them in Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So that's what you get in this lot. I have one odd lot that, that I'll sell to you guys that includes Kamala, Kamala LJN with the, the half moon belly. If he would have, could have been my brother. <laughs> 65 of Kyle O. Could have been my brother from another mother or maybe another father, maybe the same mother. Who knows? <laughs> I still love them all. I loved all the giant wrestlers. They were the, they were my favorite. Gene somebody. Snitsky was the last one. Hey, Spencer. So we have 70 with Big Sky Flipper on 24 wrestlers. Kamala and Abdullah the Butcher. I love those guys. I can't remember the 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 big tall Indian guy. Uh, he was also in that that Adam Sandler movie, um, The Great Kali. That's who it was. Remember him? That dude was crazy big. Oh crap! I forgot to say it's only the quarter. Okay. It's <laughs> too late now. Is that like a is that like a singing telegram? Oh, I can do that for you. You know what? Happy that is. birthday <laughs> to you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Andre the Giant, remember him? He was awesome. Kyle. Earthquake Tugboat, yeah. Remember those? Oh, it was out. Seventy five with Thomas. King Kong Bundy. George the Animal Steel. He was a professor, he used to eat the ring, have his tongue painted green. He would eat the turnbuckles. He'd bite and rip off the foam out of the turnbuckles. But he was like a brilliant, brilliant, like college. For his uh, teeth. Well, you know. Tito Santana. I like his music. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not Tito Santana. That's just Santana. Yeah. Sorry. So we have 75 with Thomas L. on this lot of 24 pieces shipped. Three bucks a piece. Good deal. Bargains. Yep. Ricky the, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. My sister actually dated him for a little while. He liked them like I like lots. He liked them big. Oh, my God. Yes, Brian has a sister. I do have a sister. <laughs> She's really nice, too. <laughs> you know what else I have? A mom and a daddy. So. My whole family does this. My whole family does the, the antique and collectible stuff. My co-op in uh, near Myrtle Beach, it's in Conway, South Hey, Stack Calhoun. Oh, wait. Hey, Slack Carl. Join. I think he meant to say, hey, Stack Calhoun, but I understood it. I used to watch Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, on Friday nights when I was a kid. I have 85 of Thomas. U.S. champion is out. That's perfect. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what you were doing. Jackie Stallone started glow. Oh, is it? I haven't even seen it yet. I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, Andre the Giant was in like Princess Diaries or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. See? Look, I knew something. Are you impressed or what? I like that movie. That's all. Awesome. 
Yeah, man. At fourteen and thirteen, you cannot, you cannot, you know, understand how much you were like, man. I hope, I hope she rips her shirt off. I hope she rips her shirt off. Sold, sold, sold to Thomas Light. Congratulations, Thomas. Okay, let's let's skip back to some uh to another box of that sheet music stuff that came out of that box. So yeah, I told you guys two two two. Lucky Moon. Yeah, that's it. This is funny. It's weird. Old folks home. It is a little strange. Looking for the man with two fingers. I haven't seen that movie in a long time now. Okay. So Lucky Moon, that one actually has extra stuff there. This is Lucky Moon, and then there's Moonlight, a different one. Angel's Dream. This is really beautiful. Look at the cover on this. And this is this is the type of sheet music I like better because of the way it looks. Just like the covers are just gorgeous. Like it's almost like artwork. How about a Midnight Dream Waltz by C. C. Castro? Copyright eighteen ninety. Red Fez. I have that stack over there. Red Fez, it's probably 1890s as well. It's a large one. This one's really pretty. Hearts and Flowers by Theo Bioni, 1893. This one just says Blossom. MCMVX or VII, so 1907. Medelson's Spring Song, another 1890s one. Meditation by C.S. Morrison, the John Church Company out of Chicago. MDCCC, so 18XC, so 1896 is this one. Ooh, this one's in an interesting, this, it's a century edition, century edition, preserved wrap. Salon Compositions. So maybe that's just like a folder for it. MCM VIII, so nineteen oh eight. E. DeWeiss Glide. How about let's see? I don't know if this is two or if this is one here. No, it's two. Okay. Creole Bells has all the pretty girls on it. March two. Step. Tremerai. I don't know. Coming apart at the spine really badly. Celebrating compositions by Sidney Smith. Oh, here we go. Here's a World War One ish one. Heaven's Artillery. You got all the soldiers, the big cannons. That's very cool. So MCMIV. So 1909, so pre-World War I, I'm not too sure. This one is really awesome. I believe that's a soldier here. The Charlton March by John Phillips Sosa. Sosa, very famous composer. If I know who it is, then it's got to be famous because I don't have enough Pennies in my pocket, pay attention. The Raja, March and Two Step. Be sure to get a copy of Cupid's Appeal Reverie. This is MCMII, so 1902. Tales of Hop. This one's awesome. Look at this. Naval Cadet March with this awesome real photo cover of a boat, the U.S. Cruiser Columbia. For sale at all music stores published by the New Century Educational. Dedicated to the Naval Cadets USN. 
So this one is 1895. 1895. That one's fantastic. Put that one up there. Here's another one of meditation. Okay. Let's see here. This one sells Creole bells. So where's the Creole the bells? Now. Gotcha. Okay, so Creole bells is down here. So I'm going to put this up here with it. I think this might be just a second one. So I'm going to set it up there with it just in case. Sabbath Echoes, John Freeman. This is 1890s. Hey, Kyle, you can watch that? hey Kyle Tran. Kyle. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> The Morning Star. Yeah, it's called Taryn, I know. With the Native American girl on it. Very cute. 1800s again. Uh, conservatory publication, Musical Box, something or another. I was told not to talk about boxes on the channel. I don't know. So there is a just a stack of music there. This one's actually embossed. It's cool. The Synthetic Piano School in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Absent Friends Meditation by Warwick Moore. This one is MCM XXIII. 1923, maybe. Uh, another group here. And then this is just a cover for a different one. So that's what you get in this lot. Yeah, it's crazy. Some sheet music brings like astronomical money. But I like sheet music just when it's got pretty covers. <laughs> it probably sounds really bad, but I just like whenever the covers have neat graphics on them. I look at things more for graphics than for historical significance. Okay, I'm going to just move a bunch of these in. I'll leave the ones that I think are awesome out. That's very cool, Creole. What's up? Are you okay? Damn it, Bugsy. Just because you named after a gangster doesn't mean you have to go all gangster. Hi, how you doing? Okay, and again, these are my favorites right here. The Heaven's Artillery, because I just like the cover. All the soldiers and the big cannons. The one with the Native American girl and the big blanket wrapping around her. All her beadwork, her feather. Just holding up almost like a Statue of Liberty kind of look to it. The Charlton... Charlotte, oh wait, the Charlatan March. Let me correct myself, but this is by Philip Sousa. I know who he is. Awesome, really early graphics. 1898, so pre-1900. Very, very cool. And then my favorite one, the Naval Cadet March. But here, I'm going to add something else in there just to make it more fun, a little bit more colorful. We'll go to Paramount from a Paramount movie, Mr. Bug Goes to Town. It was an animated Fleischer Studios uh, color film back in 1941. Hey, Carrie. It's got a little damage there, a little tape. But that's what you get in this lot. So lots of cool stuff there. Yeah, that I guess second after his brother. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not even on there. Well, nobody likes you. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks. Sorry, Brian. I said, no, I, look, if I had any feelings, you would hurt them every day. So <laughs> I just keep, I just leave them uh-huh. at home. Your function junction is out. 85 with the big sky flipper. Hey, I gave you a compliment. You brought cool stuff. <laughs> I did. I worked hard this weekend. I almost got divorced on Sunday, but I worked hard this weekend. That's right. He's going to take a couple weekends off now, so nobody has to kill him and bury him alive. She was not happy. <laughs> I bet she wasn't. Just because I was here at 9 o'clock listing for that challenge. See? All you guys... likes you. See? Somebody likes See? you. See? Perfect. That's because he wants to sell me some kind of $1,000 mystery box. <laughs> Sorry, Spencer. Both my wives told me no. Brian can offer bring another piece now. They both get jealous anytime I try to bring a box in here. We are too full right now. But on a good note, everybody's shipping is out. Everybody. We're yep. all caught all up. All caught up. All caught up. Hey, man. <laughs> I can't reach that high. <laughs> <laughs> we are caught up finally. <laughs> Told you, you don't got to go. You don't got to leave early. I'll check for you. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> man. And what am I going to say? Not as perky as it used to be, but they're still nice. <laughs> Your nuts are right by my knee. I will <laughs> kick you. <laughs> no, no, no. They've already been damaged this morning. Leave my nuts out of this. <laughs> Not my fault. Your wife damaged you. <laughs> you still don't get his flags? Yeah, those went out well, a couple of weeks ago, Shit. right? Like a week and a half ago. It's a big box, Kyle. Come on, UPS. Yep. Kyle. Yes. Yep. Are you sure? Wait. I think so. Unless we weren't able to ship UPS at the time. No, I think it went UPS. I think you shipped it USPS. Because I wasn't here that day. Oh, okay. And Pam's, you did it. Pam said she thinks it went out USPS. $85 to a big sky flipper. Congratulations. Okay. Since you guys are awesome, I'm going to bring something over to you. I'm going to do it. Okay, let's let's do one scrapbook first so that my ephemera people can get their fix. Ephemera peoples. Okay, I haven't been through this scrapbook. This came from the lot this weekend. But it does say from Joanne Kern, 1939. <laughs> but these are definitely much earlier than 1939. Looks like different seasons. Okay, so Victorian die cuts right here. They are glued down. You would have to soak them to get them off. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Early Victorian, they're all die cut. Beautiful Victorian. Is this, am I zoomed out or am I zoomed in? Hmm. Is it? Okay. As long as you guys can see it. So each page had three on it so far. And look, they're embossed. You can see like the embossing. Um, probably not. Wow. Hold on. Sit down. Well, we have, I want to get through the, the wrestling yeah. figures yeah. and a bunch of toys. I bought a ton of toys. But we will have comic books tomorrow. So these are all Victorian die cut. So this is just to show you that every page has stuff on it. There's a Prince figure right there. Let's see if it says anything on the back of that one. It does not. These are all super really nice die cuts. Uh, no turtles today. Nope. Or at least I don't think so. Mary had a little lamb. This guy with his dogs and cat. Got comics tomorrow. I'll yeah, we'll definitely have some ahead. comics tomorrow. So beautiful Victorian little girls. There are Kathy Bauer. Where's she at? Look at the cute little kids, the dogs. 
the girl with the geese, the little boy stealing a kiss from the other girl. Here, sorry. Yep, toys today are going to be wrestlers, some dolls, like TV show dolls and stuff, action figures, action figures new kids on the block. This kid's opening a toy, holding a Punch and Judy doll. These are awesome. So all, these are all pre-1900. Look at these. These are amazing die cuts. Look at that. True blue. Kyle, is it your birthday today? Which one? Kelsey. Yeah, do I have to strip on camera again? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Taryn. Happy birthday to you. Ivorine, this is a Victorian trade card, like advertising trade card. Now, this is a really large, oh, it's embossed too. It's really cool. Now, this advertising one here. <laughs> he didn't say yes, but he's making faces. Look. Super awesome Little advertising card. This one's so cute. This is a great album. Another winter supplies from JP Coates uh, thread. There's hundreds of pieces in this album. You guys asked me to bring some of those albums directly to sale. So that's what I'm doing. Like, Happy birthday to you. Clark's ONT spools. This one, a die cut large spool. That's a really rare advertising trade card. This one here. Look at this. They're walking their llama. Little toy. A boy stealing eggs from the robin's nest. That one's got a stamp on it. Are we getting any bids on this? No. The excursionist playing bank president busting the bank. He's getting ready to break open his little toy bank. Oh, it's 62 today. He is not. Fibber. Doesn't look a day over 61. <laughs> so lots of amazing trade cards and die cuts. That's awesome, Nancy. A little palette here. Really beautiful. 65 Fragrant Recollections. And he's photos of him. Eh. 70 has a big guy. How come this one's in front of a in front of a lineup at the at the police station? <laughs> Nestle's milk food. Katie with JI. Those are two more. These cute little cards there. Two little girls kissing. That's really cute. We'll give them a Hercules then. The serendipitous dance. I hope so. I paid a hundred bucks an album for those albums up there. So we're break. We're break even right now. This one's really awesome. Look at the mermaids. And that's advertising. Ayers Hair Vigor. Ayers Hair Vigor. Then you got the character people. That's awesome, Nancy. That's really cool. Does that mean if I rub her three times, I get a wish? No, not a genie. A genie. Oh, oh. Well, my wife's a cosmopologist. Oh, wait, a cosmetologist. I was like, what? Yeah. Well, she does that too. 
One of the little dogs barking at the moon. You see that one, Pam? I see it. A moon with a face on it. One point of a big sky. Here's your chickies. Uh, and then the bunnies, the embossed bunnies. That's cool. Let me rip that page out and give that to me. <laughs> One thirty with J.I. Kitty cat. This one's a little strange. They're actually, look. So from a bullfighting thing <laughs> where they killed the bull, they're actually dragging the bull off the off the field. That's kind of sad. Not a Here's the gold dust twins. How about this one with the piggies on it? Wait. Five little piggies. Okay. See? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Yeah. And then you get the gold dust twins. Oh, where's the start? And where's the end? Here we go. It's another group of the characters. These are awesome. Clark's Mile End Spool Cotton Thread. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't want to sell this now. Too late. Guys, can I just keep the last pages? Yeah. Boss Pat cases, fine jewelry, solid silver, and plated ware. I really can't keep this one. They didn't see it. No. Oh. No. So you get the black, the black Americana one for the thread. It's hanging over top of the alligator. So look at this. The circus one. But this is awesome. The secret farmer, John Brown Dairy. This isn't the best one on this page. I'm just trying to make you guys think that everything else is amazing until I show you the last one. This is probably a $100 card by itself right here. Look. So it opens up, and inside it's for a cream separator. It's an advertisement, like a little salesman sample advertisement. They save $10 per cow every year of use instead of milking by hand. So that one's awesome. And then you got this one down here. The dude mashed. Somebody beat him up. You got the Uncle Sam. But here, look. The umpire's lot. Not a happy one. So it is a really early from the century baseball card. Not this is. That's awesome. Like that's that's a super good piece. Those two pieces on this are worth more than the bid. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, Scotty, you got a bunch coming. So that's. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. So this is what you get. I, I promise to bring it to you directly. Now I might kind of regret it, but not really. Love you guys. So. But that's. This is super cute. So it's a mechanical trade card, cream simulator. But then the baseball one is just my favorite. This is stupendous. So you get six, seven, awesome. thirteen. I, I will check and I'll have Brian email you. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-two, thirty-three. And you can see there's advertising on the back of this. Thirty-three. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 44, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 3, 9, 4, 9, 5, 9, 6, and 7, 9, 8, 9, 9, 100, 105, 110, 118, or wait, 113, sorry, 119, 125, 131, 137, 143, 144, 145, 148, 155, 
160, 166, 167, 171, 174, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 2, 82, and 7, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So that's 201. 201 pieces. That's the same unit that the uh, um, Louis Vuitton shoes came out of, Scotty. So there was a lot of good neighbor and stuff. Now what, he got stuff in the... He got, um, there was a pair of Tiffany earrings in there. Oh, awesome. Hey, look. I, I want you guys to make money. Like, that's my goal in all of this is for you guys to make money. That was, that's what I said. I, I learned from you. I, whatever they get is, I just throw it all in. Yep. So. Handmade sterling. Awesome. Yeah, there's a sterling ring in there. Cool. That's the ring he wanted. So there you go. So awesome. Glad you like it. So 201 pieces in this lot, including the baseball, the mechanical cream separator one, all the early die cuts. Is the baseball one glued? They're all glued down. We're at 300 with Thomas. They are all glued down, but this paper is thin, so with this Thomas. one's on the back, so it's a little worse, but look. Here, I can show you. Just from me moving the page around a little bit. It is an advertisement for GAT Company. I can, kind of a big guy. See, I can see on the back of it right there. You can see the advertising. I'm not going to pull it because I want it to be in as good a condition as it can be for you guys. But it looks like this side as well is lifted. So you could probably work that out. Um, do we have our magnifying glass up here? 350 with Thomas. Because there is a date on it. And here's one for a ringer washer. You okay? Yep. Let's see if I can tell you guys the date. We know Brian on some Hercules. 1888. So the baseball one is from 1888. So awesome. For that $300 bid. <laughs> Does that mean I have a three and a half Hercules? Because yes. they have Thomas in at three fifty. Yes. And, and you know, some for some for our birthday guy. <laughs> so let's see, can we do a Hercules in birthday style? <laughs> Hercules to you. Happy Hercules to you. Happy Hercules, Kyle Terran. <laughs> Happy Hercules to you. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> to you. Woo. Okay. So we're at 360 with Spencer. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> Look, I'm just glad you guys have a good time with us here. That's what it really matters. <laughs> hey, JJ. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out Big Barn Auction Company, they have an awesome channel. He's doing a lot of auctions. They get a lot, a lot of great stuff. New in box items, items out of estates, antiques, collectibles, toys, a little <laughs> bit of everything. JJ does a great auctioneer's role with his little tongue twisters. So you guys should definitely, definitely check out that channel. And they have a lot of auctions and watch their auctions and participate. I've bought quite a few things from there. Actually, I still have some laying around here in the warehouse that I haven't opened yet. 375 with Thomas. Spencer's out. We're at 375 with Thomas. I'm going to have to watch that auction. <laughs> what? With JJ's role? Oh, yeah. He doesn't auction his role, yeah. He doesn't do it the whole time like Dad does, but. <laughs> Nancy let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And guys, we only endorse people that we buy from. <laughs> so, so if we're buying from them, you should be too. Just don't bid against me. That ain't no fun. I'm just kidding. It's an auction. We're all friends because I'll tell you what. If I see you in there and I want to bid on something, I'm going to bid on it. And, and I love all of you, but I'm still going to bid against you if I think I can make money. Okay, so we got 375, right? Mm-hmm. That was an awesome one. That was awesome. Okay. This is this is because Pam wants me to. Box O Shackman. Oh, last box in the in the place here. Box, nope, nope, there's some over there. Yeah, loose stuff. Just the stuff that didn't fit. Okay, so this is a box of Shackman. This is one dozen of whatever's in this bag. And, um, maybe I'll show you a little sneak peek, but not all of it. Huh? <laughs> okay, so this is one of those. One of the Shackman die cuts. So there's a dozen of these in there. Looks like you got two, four, six dexterity puzzles. These are a half dozen. I believe these are the cat books, the Raphael Tuck cat books. I'm not going to open them up. I'm going to let you guys use your imagination because we've seen these before. Look, there's three balls here in case you need to borrow some. Okay. Sonia Henney hanging ornaments. 1997 Tom Tierney and Shackman. So you get however many that is. It looks like, I think there's six per lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lots there. You get the Noah's Ark card game. 1890 was when they originally were from. Our version of the antique 1890 featuring original illustrations. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those in this box. You get the giant size. There's my hand. Giant size jumbo angel decorations, die cuts, double sided. Here's more of the Sonya Henny jingle balls. More of the Sonya Henny ornaments you get more of the angel ornaments down inside of this box the whole bottom of this box is just filled with those those large of these so there's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen i believe there's going to be about 24 of those 20 21 22 23 24 but 24 of those those giant angels. Sailor's bird. Yep. 85 with Nancy. And then there's a dozen of the kitty cat books, the Victorian kitty cat books with Raphael Tuck. Two packs of a half dozen each. Let's see how many packs of these there are. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen packs of six. So that's this many. Yes. Yeah, six of the dexterity puzzles. <laughs> One 
and then one dozen of the large die cuts. One big box of Shackman for you guys. Nancy is in rare form today. <laughs> they all love it too. <laughs> So we're at 130 with this overstuffed house. Next time we'll make just the Christmas box one. We're going to hang mistletoe over top of <laughs> Never mind. No. Shut up. 140 <laughs> with an antique. <laughs> I'm wrong with you. But there's lots of things right with me, too. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Nice. We have this overstuffed house at 150. Hey, Nikki. Where's Nikki? Right there. Hey, Nikki. Hey. Okay. And congratulations goes out to Nikki as well. She listed her first item the other day. Yeah? Yep. She listed something for sale. Nice. Good job, Nikki. Nikki, if you're looking for your. Um, I'm going to stay out of this. She said she needs to find her box of Shackman. And my mind went right to, well, you're supposed to feel around with your fingers. And I was like, nope, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> it's dark in your house, but. I'm, Quiet, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to just gonna go to my corner and pout. Nancy, I can't get the puppy dog part down. I, I can get the rest of it down. 160 with an antique. And, and I have a really hard time with the I am a bad girl part, too. <laughs> <laughs> 175 with the server stuffed house. <laughs> they missed me over the weekend. And. We're not as exciting without us. And you need to be <laughs> Kyle, be careful what you say. She might she might take you up on that. <laughs> Hi T. Hi T. Another one if you guys haven't been to their site, Auctions for You has amazing auctions. She is a very, very good friend of mine. And has got bitten by the buys lot bug. We started selling her large lots of stuff. And now she's out buying warehouses full of stuff. And storage units full of stuff. And car lots full of stuff. I got the CT on Saturday. I miss her. Oh, okay. I got to look down. Here, let's see. Let's see if this works with Pam. Hang on. Hang on. I'm supposed to look down. At the, I'm supposed to look down towards the floor. Pam's ignoring me, though, guys. I don't know if this pout thing is working. It's not working. No, it don't work. I'll wait till my wife comes up here, and I'll try to do it with her, but it probably ain't going to work on her either. She's too used to it. Kyle, oh. Yeah, it was all fun and games until somebody did an oil check. See, See you, Phil. Okay, so we're at 175 ish. Any Star Wars material? Um, do I have any Star Wars? I don't think I have any Star Wars today. I see Star Trek from here. Pam kind of unboxed some of the boxes of toys. So we have Dukes of Hazard. We have. Yeah, so we Star have Trek. Beverly Hillbillies type stuff, Three Stooges, Dukes of Hazard, James Bond. Um, lots of wrestlers, Star Trek. There's something Marvel in there. She said there's something Marvel over there. She's emptying a storage unit. See, look, I'm contagious. I empty a storage unit. She empties a storage unit. I need a storage unit.
Okay, I believe we're going to be sold. We need to go to a storage auction. I know. I know, we both do. No, you don't. You ain't getting no more stuff. <laughs> I need balls today and not yours. <laughs> He's asking about the uh, autographed balls. Um, I, nobody answered me if they wanted me to do autographed balls without getting without sending them off to JSA or not. Any more of those albums that I... Uh, yeah, I might do another one. You, you guys, you guys bid good on that one, so might grab another one over there. Sold, sold, sold. At this overstuffed house for one seventy-five. Awesome buy. Buy the last one for I think. And you said you made money. You do it doubled up, and you still got stuff left. Yeah, toys. toys. Should I do these dolls and get them off the table? You put them up here. Okay, so we have some dolls. Um, Pam, put them up here, so we're going to do them. You think we should do them all in one one lot, and then we can put them into one of the uh, poster tube boxes and cut it down? Sure. Okay. So, Legend Series, this is George Burns. This is an F&B doll. <laughs> Didn't you watch the video, Kyle Tran? I have like a signed Ted Williams ball, signed Hank Aaron, signed Mickey Mantle, signed Joe DiMaggio, uh, 63 World Series champions Dodgers ball, or yeah, Los Angeles Dodgers, two New York Yankees balls, one from 65, one from 67, autographed by the whole team. I'll always come to the warehouse right now so I see the balls in person. I'm over at Sam's Club. Do you want to come over to the warehouse? You can come over and look at the balls. You said yes, Kyle. Kyle, you come on over. You can come and look at the balls. We have a guest appearance from Kyle Elliott. But we're not going to show you guys the balls at the same time because we get kicked off. No, I'm just kidding. He's talking about the autograph balls. So here's the paper. So George Burns, F&B Legend Series doll. We're going to need a $40 start on this lot because it's going to cost at least that to ship it because... Most of these dolls have some kind of porcelain. Yeah, this is a porcelain doll, and this is – where's our tape measure? Somebody stole our tape measure, didn't they? Here, let me – while I'm over here. Ah, they asked for another album, so I was just going to – Grab another album. I don't know if there's a Chicago Cubs one, but but I really don't know what what else in there. There was seventeen autographed balls. The uh the balls. The balls. I in the video I asked everybody to let me know if they wanted me to just to let you guys bid on them, and I will personally guarantee that they are authentic signatures. Um, I believe you guys will get a better deal that way than if I get them authenticated and then I resell them. I think you'll have to pay more because everybody will be, you know, it's, it's kind of my word saying that they're authentic. I will offer money back guarantee that they are authentic. So if you send it off to get it graded and you do the work and it's not authentic, I will refund your money and I will pay for the, for the uh, grading service. I'll send the balls as is. Okay. okay, so 16 inches tall okay, on that one. Okay. I mean, I think in the video I told you guys I would have paid for the, the baseballs. It was you know, well over $1,000. But, you know, one ball could be worth that. One of Brian's balls could be worth that. Thank you, Pam. You're welcome. It's nice of you to say such nice things about my balls. <laughs> Good deal, Mr. Bryce. I like your opinion. Porcelain, Why right here. I have the sturdy and then even head of Brian going to the sports club grading company dropping pictures and saying here. Authenticate my balls. Face balls <laughs> <laughs> as is, JJ said. Okay. So this Why is another. Of the video. 
another doll here. This one is numbered. This is Brenda. This is the limited warranty. This is an heirloom doll. It's got the paperwork. This one's also an heirloom doll. It's got paperwork with it as well. So these are very, very large dolls. Porcelain, they're beautiful. The George Burns is a F&B legend series. And the last one is another porcelain doll. Right there's her head. She is in a bridal outfit. I just said 16 inch and balls. What did I miss? <laughs> if it was 16 inches and you missed it, there's something wrong. Okay, I'll go to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It's your birthday, Kyle. You don't have to go to the corner. <laughs> okay, so that's what you get. You get five dolls. One, two, three, four, five. Five dolls, all with the original boxes, all in beautiful, beautiful condition. They are all seem to be porcelain. You got the George Burns. <laughs> so it is a nice lot for a collector. About $40 start because it's going to cost that much to ship it because they are porcelain and they're heavy. <laughs> and the smallest one is probably the George Burns, and he's right at 16 inches. This one is an 18-inch doll. This one is a 21-inch doll, and that one is a 20-inch doll. disturbingly quiet all of a sudden <laughs> everybody's scared hey guys i learned this from from troy at mountain man treasures these dolls are all haunted <laughs> these dolls are haunted because every time i put these up for sale you guys get quiet put some white makeup on them you guys all better we can make some uh halloween dolls out of them <laughs> George Burns, 16 inches. No wonder the women loved him so much. <laughs> Nancy. Ooh, she is in rare form today. Look, he's the first one with a cigar. Keith Byman in at 42. Matthew came in just a second later. 44 with Matthew. Janine. <laughs> <laughs> So we have Matthew in at 44. We're looking for 46 for the five dolls. Well, if you had 16 inches, you'd have an odd grin on your face too. No, I would. Forty six with Nantique. Beat Keith in by just a second. <laughs> Looks like Count Dracula. <laughs> okay, just letting everybody know Pam has to pee. That's what she that's what she just said. <laughs> now I'm getting yelled at. Kyle, you should have told me before the auction challenge. I would have put one up. I'd have been like, hey, this is the Monica Lewinsky cigar. So we have 46 with Nantique. We're looking for 48 on this lot of five dolls. The F&B George Burns doll is actually a limited edition collector's doll. So we're looking for $48. Keith Feynman is out. So 
So we're looking for $48. We have 46 currently. Looking for 48. Matthew, let us know if you're out. So I see it's Matt and, and Matt and Nantique, but Nantique is in currently at 46. Matt is out also. Okay, let's start counting it down. I'm going to clear off this table. Go to something more fun. These will come in a very large box because they're heavy. So these happen to be, this one happens to be Heirloom Doll, a cooperative effort with Duck House, which makes it a little bit better. This one even has a metal tiara. Say, her tiara right here. Look at this. Little metal work tiara. Are you picking what we're selling next? We need more than two. On it. Okay, so that's the five dolls right there. Okay, sold, sold, sold an antique for forty six. Congratulations, Nantique. That was an awesome purchase. I believe you'll get probably double that out of just the George Burns doll. Okay, let me do this box lot of older wrestlers. Uh, Pam's finding some other stuff for you guys. So, look, the early, like, Rimco, that's actually a super rare doll. That's really awesome. No, that's a, it's a really good doll. So these are like the early Rimco wrestlers, like the a, uh, ECW, ACW ones. No, we're going to sell everything. I don't care. Super rare, not rare, whatever. doesn't matter. So these are all, like this is another, you know, early version. I think these were AWA wrestlers back in the time. This is that creepy dude that thought he was a, a vampire. I don't remember his name. You got Doink or Dink or Donk the Clown. This guy here with the funny looking face. He reminds me of... Oh, he's got... I don't know what that does, but it does something apparently. Another one of the AWA vintage wrestlers. You have one of the Hasbro wrestlers, Jake the Snake Roberts. You have this guy. He might be one of the Hasbro ones. Let's see. 1998 SFT Sting. You get another Stone Cold Steve Austin. You get a couple small guys here. This wrestler, he's another small guy. It's more than 12 in here. You get little Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You get a Rey Mysterio with a head that extends. It's like, hey, you're really hot. Ding. You get two of Al Snow. He was the one that used to walk around with head. You get a Booker T. 55 of Greg. And you get this guy that looks like Stone Cold, but is an older version. Uh, DOA Kona. Don't know. And then the best piece in the slot, in my opinion, is this really excellent condition. LJN original Kamala. He even has his beard hair is still there. Which is never on them. This is the Half Moon version versus the blank version. 
or the star version. It's in good shape. So LJN large original Kamala. So that's it right here. These guys are actually pretty hard to find too. These obscure guys here. The Jake the Snake's decent. This guy, I can't remember which one he was in stem just because I couldn't remember. These guys are awesome too. A little harder to find. And same with him. <laughs> he already rattled yours. Did he? <laughs> Tell them no, but do I get two extra day discounts since I paid for the whole month? No. <laughs> so we're at 110 with Thomas. Hey, Pat. What's Pat D's doing? I just see okay later. He's leaving. I didn't even know he was here. Me neither. I just saw. Gangrel, that was that guy's name, yep. Well, hey, Pat D's. I didn't know you were here. Pam didn't tell me. I wasn't even back here either. Yeah. 125 of Jay. Yeah, she has two different email addresses. I might have sent it to the wrong one. Picking paint and other stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Greg. <laughs> Greg, did you get your email from Brian? I think he did. I think I saw it on the... Okay. Making sure. Greg got three of his 13 packages that are on their way. So we're at 125 with Jay Apple. Office is back to being slow again. Do I have any of them turned upside down? I do not here. It's just for Nancy. Awesome. The there you go, Nancy. Here. That way, you... not feeling well last week. But everybody is caught up right now. Everybody. Yeah, both of Pam's personalities weren't here. <laughs> I was not. I was not well last week. So one third looking for. We have one twenty-five with with uh, Jay. So we're looking for one thirty-five. Picking, painting, and other stuff is out. We have one thirty-five with Thomas. Next bid will be 145 because we were at 125. We're in ten dollar ten dollar increment range. So we have 135. Next bid will be 445. Some good hard to find figures in this lot. There we go. Find the little Barbie heads that go with him. He used to walk around and say, give me head, and he'd carry around a little mannequin head. <laughs> Savings equals buys a lot boxes. Out already spent my stimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have 145 of Jack, 155 of Thomas. I bought myself a comic book. But I didn't buy it with my stimmy. I didn't get one. <laughs> they don't give me one. <laughs> they don't like me. We have one sixty five a jack.
Oh my god. You okay? Yeah, he just spent 16 units since the last one, so he ran it. Nice. Four today. Just message him back and I said, and tell him, tell him, tell him I said, any of them worth us buying when they come to auction because those people don't pay? <laughs> tell them to watch what they put in the unit. <laughs> we have 175 of Thomas. That's what you do. You, you go and pretend to be like a, a helper at the facility and go like, hey, you know, 10 bucks an hour, I'll help you load your storage <laughs> unit. Then you know what's in there whenever it goes up for auction eight months later. <laughs> I don't think they have any right now that are going for auction. Do you need their email? Picking, I have the, uh, I have one. I think I actually have two for you. I just needed to know which one you wanted the invoicing sent to. So if you want to email me, just email me the <coughs> one that you want me to use for your invoicing. Because I got to delete one of them out of the system on PayPal because for some odd reason it, it goes back and forth between them. Hey, Jabbies. Sold, sold, sold. 175 to Thomas. Congratulations, Thomas. Awesome lot. We are now in profit on wrestlers. Okay. So, you want me to do these four together? Instead of TV show ones? Or should I do more like this? Not, not necessarily Dukes of Hazard, but other ones. The roundy, bally, boxy ones. Anybody who eats them? They're for everybody. Okay. Cool. Yeah. There we go. Good. There's a lot. Good. Getting there. More? I think this is good. Let's see. Let's see what they think. We'll we'll be able to tell if this is a good lot or not by their bids. If their bids are good and high, we'll make it bigger. Okay, so we've got all these awesome Tomorrow Never Dies, James Bond, Pierce Bronson, Collector Dolls. This is Y. Lynn. So this is Y. Lynn. Fully exclusive premier Collector Doll. This is James Bond. Bond. James Bond. I got the Velcro so it opens up so you can see the back. And then we've got Elliot Carver from Bond, James Bond. Tomorrow Never Dies. Now, along with those James Bond figures, you get three of those in the packages, never taken out. Packages have storage wear. These also have the Velcro on the back. Not like the boots with the fur, but these are exclusive premiere as well. You got the Dukes of Hazard right here. You got Bo. These are limited edition right here. See limited numbered series. So you got Bo and you got Luke. So there you go. You got Bo and Luke Duke and three James Bond figures, all in the packages. Great condition. Boxes have seen better days just from storage. So you can see a little smushy here, right here, on the top edge. But overall, actually, they're not too bad. Let's see, like all that whiteness cleans off. It's just dust. But it has all the accessories inside, everything else. No boss hog. No Daisy Duke either. No, Pam, Pam looked at these. I didn't look at these. These are in a big old box sitting over on the other side. I have some G.I. Joe stuff I can sell too, like vintage G.I. Joe stuff. Nice. Yep. But we got no Mountain Man Treasures. He likes his vintage G.I. Joe stuff. I'll send him a message. Just vintage G.I. Joe tomorrow. 35 with that picks. 
Keith came in at 34, a little under. Yep, so we have vet picks in at 35 first. We have Linda in at 37. We have Picking Paint and other stuff in at 40. I'm just going to start saying PPOS. Kelly, if you're here, just make a comment. Registration sent so that we can give you your wrench so that you're able to bid for future. Isn't that Mama somebody something? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Hip flipping Mama. Yeah. yeah. I gave hers already. Oh, okay. You already got it. Okay. So we got picking and paintings made in blue too. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Peepos. Peepos. <laughs> So we have 60 with Jack Robertson, 65 with Vet Picks. We have any more roundy ones like this? Yep. Do we? Let's make the lot bigger. Look, you guys treat us right. We're going to treat you right. And the lots, they're going to grow. Okay, here is a duplicate of Y. Lynn from Tomorrow Never Dies. Here is a duplicate of Elliot Carver from Tomorrow Never Dies. This way you guys aren't competing with other people. Sure, let's bring them up here. Let's sell them. This Babylon 5, you've got Captain John Sheridan. It's another one that opens up. Like this Babylon 5. Another Babylon 5. This is Ambassador Jakar. There. This is Ivana Tinkle. Oh, wait. No, this is Susan Ivanova. Not <laughs> Ivana Tinkle. Babylon 5. Jeez, there's a bunch of them. Garibaldi. That should be enough. Because I don't know if we're going to have a box big enough. <laughs> So that's what four, five. There's ten. I'm gonna put a dozen up here. So Garibaldi was the security officer. Uh, even comes with a limited edition tag, authorized limited edition. So that's it's eleven. Ambassador Delin, twelve. So there are twelve of those dolls. Do we have like a bunch more of these like to make another lot or is it only like one or two? Oh, okay. Just put them up here. That way they get them all. This is Londo. Also Babylon five. It's not your not there, so it looks like you get, and then a duplicate of Ambassador Jakar. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? See what I just did for you guys? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pieces. 14 pieces. I hope the bids grow too. Are they eight inch dolls? I believe so. They are eight inch. That is correct. These ones here, eh, yeah, roughly eight inches. Now, the Tomorrow Never Dies, I would say that they're six inch. So, all of them except for the Tomorrow Never Dies dolls are eight inch. The Tomorrow Never Dies are six inch. So, huge group. You get everything for your bid. Shipping is included. Let's go. So we have Keith Feynman in at 80. 85 with vet picks. Yeah, we definitely need a big box for that load. <laughs> but that way they get all of them we have. They don't got to compete with other bidders. Yeah, and Robotech. Nice carded vintage stuff over there. Nice. I like selling stuff. 
Okay, we have four people came in at 100, or three people came in at 100. So we're 110 would be the next bid. 110 with Jack Robertson. And that picks in at one at 100. 120 with Keith. We're still under $10 a piece across the board. Shipped. So we're looking for 130. Greg said he's taking his stimulus out of savings. 130 with Greg. So we have Greg in at 130. We're looking for 140. That puts us only at 10 bucks a piece across the board. 150 with vet picks jumps it up. And that's shipped to your door. So 150 with vet picks. One sixty with Jack, and I do believe you have just in the Babylon Five. So if I was a reseller, which I am, I would probably say that I would put together a set to create one listing. Because you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six different characters from the Babylon Five set, which might be the entire set. So you may have the full set of all six. And and an extra. Okay, so we have Jack in at 160. Looking for 170. Fourteen pieces in this box, in this lot. Fourteen pieces. Nancy said her financial advisor hates her. Well, Nancy, if you're looking for a new financial advisor, just talk to me. I'll be happy to help you with your finances. So we're at 160, looking for 170. We're going to start counting it down, guys. It's about $12 a piece across the board. It's going to be an awesome buy for somebody. Look at that. It just looks cool to sit there like that. The Duke's a hazard. <laughs> Pam likes when we when we mix things up and don't just do paper. She likes when we mess with these toys. <laughs> so we are sold, sold, sold. Hi, Jen. Jen's Closet Gems. So sold, sold, sold. It's a big Sky Flipper, Jack. For 160 Okay. I'm trying to give them to you in some sort of order so you have them all the same size stuff. Now, let's see what else we can get out for you guys. Okay. Yep, big sky flip. So, Gone with the Wind. This is Mrs. O'Hara, portrayed by Barbara O'Neill. We have another Gone with the Wind doll. These are Barbie size. Belle Watling, portrayed by Ona Munson. They've never been removed from the boxes, but the boxes don't have the little plastic bases. This one has both, but this one and this one do not. This one is Mr. O'Hara, portrayed by Thomas Mitchell. We sold a couple of these the other week. I don't remember who bought them, but I know we sold them. Look, there's even a certificate in there. Have their hang tags. Never used. Never taken off the cards. But the... This plastic piece that you see right here, let me see. These are missing from these two. So 20 bucks, $20 start. Definitely cost us that to ship them.
So we have Nancy in at 30. Nancy jumps right in there at 30. What? 160. So we're at $30 with Nancy. We're looking for 35 or 32 or more. Sorry, 32 or more. Wait till I see what you found. What in the boxes of toys I bought that I didn't look at? It's exciting. <laughs> Pam gets me all hyped up on what I bought that I didn't look at. So, so we're going to have some fun stuff. I do see Marilyn Monroe dolls and James Dean dolls from here, though. I do. Nice. I get a sneak peek of my own stuff, guys. Oh, that's awesome. Nice, Ethel. <laughs> I get to sneak peek my own stuff. So we're at thirty dollars. Oh, hi, Donna. Yeah, sorry, I was running a little bit late. Wish that you guys had more time. It would have been awesome. If you guys don't know, Donna Tellabadalino was up here hanging out with us for a little bit. She stopped in, saw the warehouse, realized what it happens when you go a little overboard. On your buying sprees. I didn't even show her the second warehouse or the storage units. And since she's been here, I filled up more of this storage unit. So, hey, Donna. But it was awesome meeting you. Her and her, her other daughter was getting ready, doing some practice for the volleyball tournament in Philadelphia this past weekend. So it was awesome having them up here and meeting them. They are fun to hang out with. <laughs> she said you're nuts. <laughs> what about my nuts? Oh, I even wore like a bright pink shirt for them. It's always cool to meet people that we see every day on here. So I have Nancy in at 40 on this set of Gone with the Wind dolls. What happened to Kyle? I thought Kyle was stopping by. Yeah, I thought so too. We got nothing from Kyle. Kyle. Pam doesn't like being teased like that. <laughs> Look, she even put lipstick on. It's bright green. I don't wear lipstick. <laughs> 45 with Nikki. Smitty Slips is out. Picking, painting, and other stuff is out. I have a feeling that Nancy might have bought the other, the Mammy doll, oh. the Scarlet, and the Rat doll to complete the set. Yeah, I don't remember who bought the other three. I cannot remember. So Donna and her lovely daughter came in, and I'm sure her daughter left with a new perspective on, Mom, please don't leave us with that much crap. <laughs> oh, she didn't get, oh, she didn't get them. So. Yeah, I don't know who bought them so. then. I know we shipped them. Yeah. I just don't know who bought them. They're out of here. I don't know. Probably Scotty. Might have been Scotty. He bought a bunch of stuff. No? Okay, so we're at 45 with Nikki. Looking for 50. Ah, see, picking paint and other stuff. Bought the other lot. I think it's here then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have taken her up to the other warehouse. That's like, oh my god, three times. Yeah, that one's much worse than this one. Okay, so we're looking for 50. Hey, Scotty. Uh, we were just seeing if you were the one who bought the other Gone with the Wind dolls, but I don't believe it was you. We, we figured out that it was it was picking paint and other stuff. It's Peepos. 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 <laughs> sold, 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 sold for 45. Congratulations. That was a good buy. Especially since they've never been removed. And these are... Actually, probably the, because everybody would have bought Scarlett O'Hare and Clark Gable. 
Okay, let's let's do a magazine lot here. Okay, so this is a lot of ten automobile magazines. Automobile. Where's Grandpa's automobile? <laughs> The top custom cars in the nation. 1964 car craft. Ten dollar start. Uh, what year is this one? Now this one, the the cover is starting to come off. 1962 March Hot Rod magazine. Yeah, he does. He has a video shoot. He was just right here by us. Ray Brock's Rod Action. I somehow to me. Rod. Ray Brock's Rod Action. <laughs> Okay. February 1973. Ray Brock's Rod Action. Tonight on Skinamax. Ray Brock's Rod Action. <laughs> Brought to you in full color. March 1973. Rod Action. Another Rod Action. May of 1973. Look, I can't get Bolo busted. She's not here. Hey. June 1973. Another Rod Action, 1973. They're building all these awesome custom cars. I probably should open, flip through one of these, show you guys. Look at all the cars. The custom makes, the shows. They're telling you how to fix things, how to re-chrome your rims. Street rods of the 40s. Look at that car. Unknown. Built around 1949, bodies all aluminum. Even has a cool color, hot rod in it. There you go. A 1973 September rod action magazine and an October of rod action magazine. So you get 10 magazines for your bid, $10 start. Let's see where we're at. $15 start, $10 start, whatever. Wasn't wasn't the Silver Surfer on her video, or did she post her videos? Like I think she just wanted a picture with it. Oh, gotcha. So we have Nancy in at fifteen on this lot of magazines, looking for twenty. Actually, we're looking for seventeen or better. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Nancy. If your bid's high enough, we're gonna send you some raw to action. <laughs> Maybe we should send you a bottle of water for afterward because you'll be <laughs> tired after handling all that rod action. Yeah, she has on video. That's what I thought. Donna, I'm on your video. That's very rare for me. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, Pam's only in very, very few videos. Very few. Two of them you have to pay to watch. Shut up, Ron. <laughs> Jack Robertson. We're at 25 with Nancy. I didn't know she was doing a live either. <laughs> right away. Well, you were actually kind of gussied up. I was? Yeah. You look like you had makeup and everything on. I wear makeup every day, dude. Well, it looks like you had more makeup than normal. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how to get myself out of the hole I'm digging myself right now. <laughs> what? We're at 27 with Jack. Wait, what? I was all trying to see the shelves. Oh. <laughs> what? Thank God I changed my clothes because I had like 13 different colors on. <laughs> well, I don't think it mattered. Look, I came in a hot pink shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Is this video on YouTube? Yes. I would say I so. Think, I think Donna put it on. Actually, it was a live. Yeah. Donna did it on live. So you can go back and watch the, the live where she came to the warehouse. So we have Nancy in at 40.
man, the more they keep talking about this lava lamp live at night thing, the more I think it's just like a YouTube orgy. I was thinking it was a pot smoking thing. <laughs> no, 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 it's it's not a, it's not a pot smoking thing. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have 40 with Nancy. Nancy really does want this rod action. <laughs> okay, looking for 42 or better. We're going to start calling it down. And if you guys are not subscribed to Donatella Bottolino, make sure that you do. They also have auctions over there, her and T from Auctions for You. They kind of alternate back and forth between the channels. Having auctions, they are a lot of fun to watch and a good time. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> yep. Looks like Nancy's going to be winning the rod. Sticky pages in the future. <laughs> okay, I believe we're sold, sold, sold. Let's be sold, sold, sold. Okay, let me give you guys some more dolls. I actually think these are pretty rare. If I remember right, these are very good. Okay. These are really hard to find. Um, I couldn't find a whole lot about them. So these are by Playmates, the same company that made Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are Stars on Ice. There was Christy Yamaguchi, which is super famous. Ekaterina Katia Gordeva. And Nicole, Nicole Bobbitt. Bobek, not to be confused with Bobbitt. And Katrina Witt. This one is Katrina Witt, I believe, right there. We have uh, whoever this one is. This one is Ekaterina Katia Gordeva, right there. This one here is Nicole Babek. And the most famous and best one is the Krista, Christy Amaguchi. Doll. So this is the full complete set, all four stars on ice by Playmates, mint in the box. Boxes have light storage wear, but would clean off nicely. <laughs> Wait, but I'm not allowed to bid. Honey, we're going to be bidding on Hummers. Hummers. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's free. Okay. Never mind. Don't got a bid. <laughs> okay. So you have the four Stars on Ice Playmates dolls, new in the box, a full set. And these could be great to play with your uh, your Barbies. <laughs> I don't think that's where you were going with that, but no, that's exactly where I was going with it. I forgot. <laughs> My train of thought goes off the track once in a while. Mm -hmm. So just kind of neat. <laughs> James S. is bidding on Hamas. <laughs> that picks in at 25. 
for the set of four. He said, oh, Hummer. Nancy, don't do that. <laughs> the Tanya Hardy one comes with the bat. <laughs> Wasn't it Christy Yamaguchi that she broke her leg or something? Stop that. That's contagious. <laughs> that yawning stuff. Okay, so we have 20 with vet picks. Okay, let's start calling it down. Let's keep moving through these toys. Nancy Kerrigan. That's it. And it was one of those ice skating girlies. Twenty seven with Greg for this set of four. Look, it's like the Spice Girls on Ice. That's what these dolls remind me of Spice Girl dolls. Splinters. <laughs> Why are you grabbing my leg? <laughs> <laughs> so Yvette picks in at 30. I figured <laughs> my butt does not hang I, that low. <laughs> I figured as old as you were with the gravity, it should have yeah. been down there. <laughs> Your husband just said my butt hangs like all the way down at my knee. <laughs> she had something on the back of her leg, like by her knee. So I, I like was taking off the back of her pant leg, right? She's like, why are you grabbing my leg? I said, well, I was trying to grab your butt because I figured at your age that gravity had pulled it down that far. But I don't think so. She's trying to beat me. Okay, Sweet. Awesome. Autographs. Nice. 40 with that. So we have 40 with that picks. <laughs> so you can get your man card back. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go ahead and sell these. Let's start calling it down. So just the two of them. Go ahead and sell it. A little handy wipe over top of these plastics would do a world of wonder. Yep. Look. Dusty. Hey, Dad, why are your hands so dirty? Did you actually work today? No, I was playing with dolls. Okay, so what do you want me to sell now? Okay, how about another binder from the from this week's purchase? Look, isn't it pretty? Somebody's wedding binder. I don't know what's in it though. So, so let's get started. Here we go. First page. I'm a fishing for. Look at this. And when you look. Vintage postcards. So it's not just one in there. There's four in that, just in that bottom. And this one here. Look. It's three, four, five of these here. Greetings from Pensdale, Pennsylvania. So we'll get our $10 start. So right there's 10 postcards in that, that stack. But a lot of these have multiples. Here's the evidence. Let's see this one here. It's hopeless. I'm still a stinker. Look. Again, multiples. I haven't looked at any of these albums other than very little to decide if I was buying this deal or not. Honest, it was this big. 
man, if I had a quarter every time I said that. Here's another multiple quarter. And then you get back into the turn of the century stuff. <laughs> Baby's watching me. Nobody puts baby in the corner. France, real photo postcard. North Carolina, bottoms up. Bottom seems a long way off. That's really funny. So this is, looks like to be a postcard album. You are overdoing things, miss. I advise you to stay out of bed for a week or two. Have you had a checkup, miss? No, doctor. I think he came from Spain. <laughs> Here's an army one. So, Pam, you can keep track. Count two, four, six. I mean, there's multiples in each one of those, but six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Here's sixteen, eighteen. Make love, not war. <laughs> there's twenty. Dirty postcards, 22, 24, here, tilt it up a little bit, 26, 28, 30, these are very cool, 32, 34, dirty postcards, 36, 38, no comments today, Green Monster. 40, 42. One time with red. 44, 46, then you get a Victorian era. 140 and 48, 50. These are all sex related. Really funny. 50, 52. And some of them do have more than one card in them. 54, 56. Six, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty-two, sixty-four, sixty-six, sixty-eight, seventy. Another real photo postcard. Seventy-two, seventy-four, seventy-six, seventy-eight, eighty. 82, 84, and there's multiples in these. 84, 86, I mean, you can see here, multiples, 86. whatever this thing is. 98, some kind of Grand National ticket. 98. 100, like the running of the Bulls, real photo postcard. 102, these are real photo postcards. 104. This is a weird, this one's much thicker. 206, 208. 210 to 12, 14 to 16, to 18 to 20. I don't know what these are, what this thing is. 1882 is when it's from. 222, 224, 226, 228, 230, 232. 234, 236, 238, 240, 242, 246. Look at these. These are really cool. 46. They're made out of like fabric of some sort. 246. Let's see what this is. 46. Dilworth's coffee card. 246, 248, 
250, 52, 52, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, look at that outfit that she's wearing, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 300. So there's 300 slots filled, not counting the multiples in some of them. So there's over 300 pieces in the slot. You guys saw it as I saw it. I did not open this one and look at it whenever I bought the deal. 550 with Nancy. <laughs> the cards are really funny, though. Like... <laughs> In the line marked sex, you should have put female, not four times a week. Uh, every man should have 16 wives. Look, this is my card right here. Every man should have 16 wives. It says so in the marriage service. Four better, four worse, four richer, and four poorer. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, some of them are funny. I think I'd rather have a baby than have a tooth filled. Blimey, miss. Make your mind up before I start. <laughs> it's funny. Where's the wood? Did you have to get so quite passionate on, on my new waterbed? <laughs> oh, you're having trouble with your breathing, too? <laughs> She wants her money. She'll see it paid. Quickies are half price. Special offer two for the price of one after six. That's eight and all. Come in and, and fill the all over. Pay as you enter. And, she, and he's like, but I'm your husband. <laughs> he thought he was going to get a discount. Huh. <laughs> a maternity bra. Yes, madam. What bust? Or I think it was the ultra sensitive one, Gloria. <laughs> Could you kill a man? Oh yes, eventually. Look, come on. Seven twenty five at Nancy. <laughs> I'm amused by these cards. I couldn't tell. Bamforth, Bamforth cards published by Bamforth and Company in Yorkshire. Those are probably like 60s and 70s. What's wrong, Harry? Another one failed to give away. It's a giveaway. Here, Lent's okay, but have you noticed that the bottom is all wrinkled? <laughs> This was a shock treatment I had in mind. Oh, well, this is hilarious. It's funny. It's a performing elephant. I think the honeymoon is over, mummy. He died. It's not that I don't enjoy sex, but this maniac expects it four or five times a year. <laughs> Okay. That one amused me. I couldn't tell. If I'd have just looked at this one book whenever I I bought all these, I would have just bought the load just from looking at one. It's sold, sold, sold to Nancy for seven twenty five. All by myself. Okay, because both of these look kind of the same. We're gonna go with Star Wars Episode One. Queen Amidala. We're going to go with um, the Hawaiian baby or whatever this is. Uh, Pam put it up here so it's going. And last but not least, but definitely scariest of all, the best of the best. 
The Dennis Rodman wedding day dress doll. This is Dennis Rodman in drag on his wedding day. Let me do some more paper stuff. Got to get rid of wrestlers too. Yeah. Take some more wrestler trays. I'll just make bigger lots. Bigger lots. And I cannot lie. So you get Dennis Rodman wedding day. That's hilarious. Old T. Andrew Campbell wants to do another one of those. Another one of what? Yeah, that's what's in all those boxes up there. Yep, just give me the red one right off the top. I don't know what's in it, so. They seem to like that stuff, so. Ooh. Ooh. We'll save some for tomorrow. Hi, baby. Hi. Honey, look. Look, it's. Oh, there's your red hair girl. No, it's Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I know who it is. Now that was funny. The abuse I take at this place is unbelievable. So we have Nancy in at 20. Oops, excuse me. Why is Kyle Elliott waiting at your house? No, I have to go. I have a doctor's appointment. I know. I was joking. <laughs> he never showed up. Bye, Janine. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Pam said bye, everybody. <laughs> go and yell at Bugsy. Be like, Bugsy, what were you doing? Is this your water or is this Kim's water? Okay. So we have Nancy in at 30 for the three dollies. Hi, honey. Okay. Want to help me with auction? Or are you leaving? We're leaving soon. Aren't you finishing up at four? I told you to take in the new time. Okay. I'll help you finish up the rest of it. Yeah, I'm only going to do a few more lots. Got to do some more wrestlers, and then they want some more of these books, and then I have sheet music. And... Huh. I would run another six hours if I could. Still not be able to clear off this table. We should tell everybody to cash in their pensions, and I'll do that whole collection one day of all those albums, those 50 albums of that stuff. Welcome. Then I wouldn't be in so much trouble for all the money I spend. See you, Spencer. Can you give me some Cocoa Puffs while you're there? What's with you and Cocoa Puffs lately? I don't know. We got you those Crave things to try to try them? I didn't try them. I'll yeah. try them. Don't worry, because I didn't eat lunch. That's why I had to eat a cookie. One. I know I can see. It's gone. Oh, shut up. Bitty. These nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look. No, oh, your hands are fucking cold. Stop that. <laughs> well, I'm only allowed to do that to one of my two wives. Come on now. So we have Nancy in at 40. Mm -hmm. 
on the Star Wars doll, the Dennis Rodman doll, and little Chantel there. Is that her actual name? Is that what you named her? That's what I named her. I figured Kenny didn't look right if I named her Kenny, but... Okay, I believe we're going to be sold. Um, sold, sold, sold. We're having an auction Saturday. Saturday. Saturday we were having an auction. I was just informed. So, guys, here's what we're going to be doing. Uh, Kim is going to do some auctions for you guys on weekends that are going to be specialty-based auctions. So one day may be a day of books. One day may be clothing. Two, two days a month will be rock and roll posters. Yeah, this Saturday will be one. This Saturday will be rock and roll posters. Rock and roll posters this Saturday. And there's some good ones. Yep. Some good ones. Okay. So we got Dr. Death right here. Uh, thank you, Westside Gary. Yep. Yeah, super chat. Awesome. Thank you, Gary. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fist bump for Gary. If you guys don't know, Westside Gary is usually around with Tom Cruise. They have auctions as well. Awesome content. They're good guys. So another wrestler. We're going to do 24 wrestlers in this lot. Don't know who that guy is. This one looks like LBJ, but I'm not sure. This one is definitely LBJ. You can just tell by the hair face. I have no clue who this guy is and why he has one finger in the air. Just one. This one looks like Eric Bischoff. Speaking of... Hey, Eric Bischoff, if you're here, let us know, because here's your figure. You got this wrestling guy, DOA Kona. We had him earlier. This is a Maven, I think, with his M on his pants. Yep, Maven. This one is Ivan Borkoff, I think. He has his knee pads. There you go. Got his knee pads there. One of the classics. Another a vintage Hulk Hogan non-branded AWA wrestler that they modeled after Hulk Hogan but didn't get the permission to make back in the day. Shamrock. I don't know who Shamrock is. So Shamrock. And I have no clue who this guy is. Um, he's wearing a Confederate flag as a shirt. Blue overalls and a camo hat. I have absolutely no clue who that wrestler is. So there are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But wait. Here's number 13. Don't know who this dude is. Don't know who he is. Number 13 has his knee pads. Number 14 kind of looks like, uh, like Chris Benoit. 14 this looks like Test or Edge. Kurt Angle. 15. Yeah. 16, Undertaker. 7, that's Batista. 18, that's Kane. 19, another Eric Bischoff. A different one, though. A different version. Where is he at? See? 18. 20, uh, the one, two, three kid from the classic series. 21, has his knee pads. 22, I have no clue who this guy is. He's got phoenixes on his pants. And the last one, 24, I think his name is Viscera. It's Viscera, right? He had like the red eyes and the blonde mohawk. So there's 24 wrestlers in this lot. So pretty cool. 
sure the Eric Bischoffs are probably a little harder to find, and all the classic characters like that Doctor Death. This guy's awesome. He was always kind of scary, though. Just yeah, just a scary dude. And I have no clue who this is. Looks like somebody who my niece would date. Crystal, if you're watching this, this is your next husband. You wait, corn dog. Come on over here. Charles probably cracking up if she's watching this. <laughs> All we need now is Eric Bischoff in here today. We have a buyer whose name's Eric Bischoff. Wow. I thought having Eric Bischoff dolls would have been appropriate. Looks <laughs> like a cornbread fellow. <laughs> <laughs> So we have 90 with JD. Looking for 95. I saw Ken in at 85, Greg in at 85. How about the one that's got its finger up? They're trying to figure out who this guy is. Look, look, watch this. Huh. His head turns whenever he moves his finger. <laughs> so he can pick his nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to break somebody else's toys. Right, We're at 95, looking for 100. See you, Gary. Always awesome having you stop by. Dancing, 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 dancing machine. That's Disco. Okay. Disco Inferno. There we go. He's got his jacket. You can remove his jacket if you want to. We have 100 with JD in Virginia. JD with the hundred. I guess we got to give him Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Janine just spit out her water. And I will tell you guys, look, here's another album. I dropped it over here before, before she left. Another mystery album that I don't know what's in it. And we have 93 people here. Thank you, everybody who is here. All right, sold to JD. JDM and VA. Yep. Okay. So you guys asked for them. There you go, Andrew Campbell. I have not looked at these. I looked at four albums when I made the deal to buy them. And I paid 100 bucks an album. Was it those four? It, it's a mix. There's yeah. Just put a album number three. I think this is the third one. As we sold a scrapbook and then an album. This was one. Two, three. Yep. Okay, so this has not sure why some are here. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay, there. That looks better. So these are all embossed. 
There's uh, cards here. Some of these things i got to pull out to look at because I'm curious as to what they are myself. Please take a little extra time because I want to know what they are. Sometimes i got to look at the stuff I buy just because well, I like to. So, oh, so it's a bridge tally card. The parrot. Should save that for Craigslist Hunter. Guys, if you, if you guys didn't start bidding yet, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal this one out of the album. I'll give you something else in its place. Oh, I'm going to send it to Craigslist Hunter. It's Pete. He's got, a, he's got a parrot. It's not a super good one anyway. But to my Valentine, embossed. It's awesome. 1914, 1909. These are beautiful. Another bridge tally card. A Victorian die cut with a boat. Here. More postcards and greeting cards. More the front cave. Here's um, St. Patty's Day. And then you get into some more awesome die cuts and items. Look. Nice, beautiful, large die cut. People who collect Weller pottery actually buy these cards. There's a few like this. So they have actually old pictures of literally this is a Weller design piece of pottery. Look, so peen. So this wasn't just a postcard. This was also an advertising trade card. So very, very awesome. Early turn of the century. Another trade card, more exhibit trade cards. I'm trying to, let me see. Let me do this. Just to make it where they're standing up so you guys can see them better. And I'm not holding it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, Shardlesville Hotel. Is that like Shardlesville, Pennsylvania? Isn't that right up here? It's on the way going to Lebanon. You go past it going to Lebanon. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the one up here by Pam's? Schnecksville. Schnecksville, that's it. Because she's always looking for pictures of her house. Her house used to be a old, uh, an old like business. So look, all embossed. A lot of them are advertised trade cards. There's another one like this. Winter scene in Niagara Falls. These are advertising trade cards right here. So they have advertising on the back of them. If you guys want to see any of them, just ask, and I will happily pull them out and show them to you. Whirlpool Dips. Tolster Beach, Maryland. So amusement rides, amusement park, soapine, louts, pure and healthy soaps. This is uh, from People's Tea. More postcards and trade cards. I guess this one's from a dentist with a little black cat embossed on it. Universal Family for soap, trade cards. Atlantic City Boardwalk. Uh, real photo postcard of Charlottesville, PA. Use Buffalo Soap. Trade card, trade card. Some really awesome cards in here. This one's really cool. Yellow House Hotel. More trade cards. Ayer Sarsaparilla from the turn of the century. These are, these are all turn of the century. Sleepy Hollow business section next to Henry Ford's first store. Hoyt's German Cologne, right here, with these awesome cherubs on it. The Geisha Girl, these are all trade cards. These are amazing. Sopine with a Wizard, it's very cool. Schlitz Palm Garden, New York World's Fair, 1939. Lozenges, another trade card. These are all trade cards on the inside lines. And they are back-to-back, -back. so there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces in here. 
you know, Rise Dicks Hamiltonian might be a famous racehorse. Nice uh, hotel for Europe as Africa used the agate iron wear as it never rusts or leaks. Thank you, Tar Heel. More trade cards. This one's for like a, a wash machine press. More trade cards. These are turn, all turn of the century, 1880s. This one's for Jello. This is the Jello girl. This is actually probably a really rare. This is probably a really rare advertising card. Dutch Diner. Ruby Form. More trade cards. These are awesome. Dutch Diner located in Charlottesville, PA on Route US 22. No, that's no longer there because I've driven past 22 a million times. This one's really cool. Here, I'm going to pull this one out and show it to you guys. This one with the German guy in the pickle helmet and the German officer dedicated to Wilson Packing Company. Very, very cool. There's another one. It's a calendar. You can see right there, it's 1885. Okay. Okay. I'll put that in there then. Okay. You have these three. Ebert Piano. That's a fantastic card. You have... This one says New York. Armand. You have another large trade card. Exhibit card. Audubon March. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, it's 18, 1883. Oh, geez. Yeah, risque, kind of naked. For children, grain good. These are advertising trade cards here. That's three of those. Oh, yep, that's a postcard. Photo. Yeah. That's crazy. See, look, these are all trade cards. Look at this. Borden's Condensed Milk. That's probably a $30 card by itself. Some of these are awesome. I'm so excited when I bought this collection. Look, all of these are trade cards. These might all be trade cards and not not with postcards. Okay, so here's more trade cards. You can see on the backs, here's all the advertising. Most of the backs of all that stuff is going to have that kind of um, advertising on it. Highway Robbery. Look, that's from uh, Milkmaid Brand Condensed Milk. That's a fantastic card with the babies in a, in a pram and the little girls still in it. Yep. It's awesome. Look, little girl with the kittens in her yeah. dress for Ayers pills. And the fairy for Stif, uh piano trade card. So this is almost all trade cards. Even the postcards are advertising on the back, which makes them really, really rare. Sewing machine. Look, shaker extract trade cards, more exhibit trade cards, cornstarch. Um, I don't, but I'll give you guys a count in just a second. Hood Sarsaparilla with the lions. This is a good card. Phillips Cocoa Digestible Baby. Lopper weight, furniture and carpets. This is another extract. See all the advertising, 1807 to 1881 trade card, 1879 annual statement. Look at the Native American one. Look at that. That's awesome. Well, let's see if I can show it to you guys close. Native Americans. Ray Humbles for oil cloth. And then more with the baby. So three. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, some of them have some on the back. So let's say there's ten there instead of eleven. So fifteen, 
21 plus 1 is 22 plus 5. Now you just messed me up. <laughs> it's 27. 28, 29, 30 through 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, or 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, or 7, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, or 57, 58, 59, 50, 51, 52, 53. 54, 55, 56, 78, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 45, 6, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 4, 95, 96, 97, 98. 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 3, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 455, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 6, 1, 6, 3, 4, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 2, 10, 2, 13, 2, 23, 2, 28, 29, 2, 30, 2, 31, 32, 33, 2, 33, 2, 34, 2, 35, 2, 36, 2, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40, 4, 1, 2, 3, 2, 43, 2, 4, 4, 2, 4, 5, 2, 46, 2, 47, 2, 48, 2, 49, 2, 50, 2, 51, 2, 52, 2, 53, 2, 254. So 254 pieces, give or take. We'll say there's 250 just to be safe. So 250 pieces. Very cool. And they're open up there till eight, Kelly. Yeah. So we'll do twenty lots. Okay. That's seven seventy five with Tar Heel Picker. <laughs> so eight hundred with Nancy. I do run across a lot of amazing collections. I mean, you know, obviously I pay up for them when I buy them, but You know, for individual people to see 10 of these cards in a week is unusual. And Nancy, mm -hmm. I've got the time. There's a song. Mm -hmm. If you've got the money, honey, I've got the time. Tar Heel is out. And I will give you guys a heads up. There are 50 albums. Cards, trade cards, exhibit pieces. As you guys saw earlier, that baseball piece, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. 
We have 850 with Thomas. Greg is out. I do find cool stuff. <laughs> Pam's making sure I'm not talking about her while she's not here. <laughs> Eight seventy-five with Nancy. And I gamble a lot, guys. Like I looked at four albums, but I know my pickers, and you know, they told me like, hey, hey all like this. So when that happens, you know, I'm just like, okay, I'll buy it. And then I show it right here on camera to you guys. You see it as I see it. That way I don't get attached to any of it before I sell it to you. So you guys do get to see everything. <laughs> Nancy gets rental space with her merchandise. It's part of the agreement. Yes. We don't have any room for rent. <laughs> so we're eight seventy five with Nancy. Thomas, let us know if you're out. Because it's just between you and Nancy, and then that'll be we'll just sell it to whoever is the last one. You know we talk about you when we're not when you're not here. She said, you, not we. Oh, well, I was trying to get that. Mm-hmm. Try, trying to, I'm trying to share the blame. She can just rewatch the lives. She knows what I say about her when she's not here. Okay, sold, sold, sold. Pam knows we love her. Okay, and then here is another lot of... Wrestlers. Oh, look. Here's the giant Kali. We were talking about him earlier. I'm not sure why he looks like a blow-up doll, but... Like it's tough. Okay. Oh. Like, what the hell are you talking about? His mouth is just... <laughs> You're not? No. So every time you yawn, that's not really what you're telling me that you want to do? No. Oh, psh. I told you that a million times. Well, then I'm going to stop hiring you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the third one. That's number three. Number four. Number five. This looks like Randy Orton's friend. I can't remember his name. Farouk from the collection series. So you got three, four, five, six, seven. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. The Coach. You got Batista with, I don't know, American knee pads. You have The Undertaker. I got your back, Cam. It's okay. Dudleysville, there's Devon Dudley. And HZ. Stop leaning on the table. You're making Why the thing go like this. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard they want some live action, Brian. Polygon Z. I don't know who he like is. Special effect. This type stuff. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Flying action figures. This is an older one of a wrestler, but obviously it was from without licensing because there is no way that anybody would ever let. Yo, yo. Forty-five is right. There's, there's your live action. Yo, wait, that doesn't even look good. Never mind. Put him down. You have this guy. La. Somebody. 
La Resuda, something like that. This one is definitely an older one because the knees don't bend. This one looks like Goldberg. This is Edge. Here's that guy in the green track suit again. Here it looks like uh, Rob Van Dam. Here it looks like Triple H. I don't know if this is supposed to be Vince McMahon or who that is, but I would go with Shane McMahon, Vince McMahon. This is Dude Love. I used to think Dude Love and Axel Foley were the same person. And this guy, he's got his knee pads on as well. Right there. There we go. Comes with his knee pads. Kind of looks like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> no on, way. Just... No. Not even if you cover up the body. Neo. I'm telling you, Neo. Okay. <laughs> For real, Chris Benoit, the murderer. <laughs> so there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Goldberg, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is uh, Dusty Rhodes' kid. No, this... This is. Oh. I didn't know all of them. I don't know who that is. And this guy tells me his name right out on his shirt it says Farouk. <laughs> so we have sixty-five with Kyle. <laughs> Housing, power, food, Mr. Bicelet, and Big Barn. <laughs> Janine, the posh don't write their own checks out. They have a financial advisor for that. Didn't you read that <laughs> earlier? How many wrestlers were there? It's 24. 24 wrestlers in this lot. Including the inflatable doll guy. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be like the guy that also played in the longest yard? Yes, with Adam Sandler. It's the yeah. great Cully. Is that, is that yeah. His yeah. But it's just funny. <laughs> do I do it? Okay. Stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Thousand at seventy-five. Oh, okay. I'm terrible. What? What? I know what you do. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you guys are so much fun. So we are at 75 with Kyle Oman. <laughs> Teeth look too sharp. Hey, sometimes, you know, some people like a little bite in action. A little, little teeth action sometimes isn't bad. 80 with Ken. Look, some people don't use safe words. They just tell you if it starts bleeding to stop. Ew. Uh, shut up. If you draw blood, you went too far. Pam, that's a loaded question. <laughs> the question is, what is not 
wrong with him. <laughs> we have 85 with Kyle. That's right. It's Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> And guys, remember, tomorrow we're going to be here from 1 until 4.30-ish or 5 o'clock having fun. We're going to be bringing more of those awesome albums to you guys for sale. Maybe if I get lucky, I'll get to look at some of them tomorrow before we sell them. <laughs> Janine. <laughs> some of them are Janine, awesome. Janine, that sounds sauce. like too much work. What? She's like, Kim, bite the shit out of him tonight. <laughs> We're married. That doesn't happen. I mean, I'm going to buy a pair of those wind-up <clears throat> teeth. <laughs> they don't open. The mouth doesn't open far enough on those. Oh, I'm sure I can get it to open. <laughs> Look, even Pam's saying she doesn't have that much time. I don't know what's going on here. but <laughs> She's saying we don't have that much time to figure out what all is wrong with you? Oh, I thought I thought we were talking about the whole biting me tonight thing. I was like, whoa, wait a second now. No. So we're at 85 with Kyle O, looking for 90. You guys see the abuse I take from the employees? What are you talking about? All this, all this abuse I take from you and Pam. You don't have any clue what you're talking about. Someone's going to have to turn blind. Oh, <laughs> got stuck in a Gatorade <laughs> bottle one time. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> So true. Okay, are we sold? I think we're going to be sold. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's had enough. <laughs> taking, or taking, and I ganging up on him. Taking all the abuse. Yeah, they, I work with both of them every, every day. Bad for me. Like Nobody feels bad for you. Oh. They hear what we have to do with. Hmm. Sold, sold, sold for 85. Congratulations, Kylo. Okay, guys, we do appreciate everybody being here with us today. Just a sneak peek for tomorrow. This is the be the first album that'll come up tomorrow. Look, I, I just Pam put it over here on the table, so I have to look at it while Kim's writing. Mm -hmm. like look, look at the Santa Claus. It's awesome. Look at all the Santa Clauses. There's a bunch of them. Real photo postcards. Embossed with fabric. Look at this. Gonna look at the one with the bicycle in the background and the guy with the violin. That's awesome. So just a just a touch. I'm just showing you guys a, a quick sneak peek for tomorrow. Um, Janine, I'm just doing Saturday because Sunday's Easter. Yep. Ooh, Canada one with all those things. Look, this one's good. Oh wow. Honey, look at this one. Hmm. Look. Oh, that's cool. That's something different. Yeah, look, look everybody. It's a mechanical one. Okay. Okay, so everybody, we will see everybody tomorrow. We do thank you all for being here. You guys are great. This album will be coming up tomorrow in tomorrow's auction. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cards and Valentine's and greedy embossed and real photo postcards and all kinds of stuff so we'll see you guys tomorrow this will be here then be in tomorrow's auction we got a bunch more amazing stuff so we'll see everybody then thank you guys very much hit that thumbs up on your way out you guys are awesome